scatters when you play the beat, play the beat. A brainiac facts up. I press rewind. Welcome to Brain Screech Reactions, myself, Mark Hector. What we reacted to now? Uh, serial killers? Serial killers, serial killers, serial killers? I can't make that one fun. I can't. I gotta think of a better introduction for that. Okay, so, why am I doing this? Um, I needed something new on the channel that I can start utilizing things like the human condition, the way people think, feel, and behave. Because I do it for a living, and I'm bloody good at it. I am good at it. That's why I do it for a living. I've done it for over 16 years, where I start trying to study the human condition, the reason why people have conflict in their minds, motivation so on and so forth just the reason why people have internal dialogues in all different ways now i do that through the music and i've loved doing that with artists like nf 21 pilots and even tupac shakur when we talk about the culture that people have to live on a day-to-day -day basis based on the color of their skin being fucking threatened by someone in a fucking police uniform it's crazy to me, but for me, it's the understanding of the reasons why people do that. So one of the things that came as a suggestion was serial killers. Now, I, I have a massive interest in things like uh, criminology and the why people do things. And when you get like detectives trying to figure things out, I love shit like that. And I thought I'd bring it to this channel. We've done one for, for the Jeff... Uh, Jeffrey Dahmer was the one that we've done before um, and I'm going to keep this segment going brand new to Brain Squeeze Reactions and it got a fucking fantastic response the last time that I'd done it so I'm going to keep it going so the next one on this list is a, um, a person called Tommy Lynn Sells and this is a psychopath speak so this was sent to me and all I was told is that this is creepy as fuck Fuck. If you're new to the channel, this is how it works. I am going to pause and talk about stuff, okay? If you can't deal with someone pausing, you don't have to stay. You're not a prisoner. But do not in the comment section start saying that I pause too much. If you want to watch the video, go fucking watch it. Why are you watching a reaction discussion about for a dude that's interested about the human condition and can't shut up because of ADHD? You're a fucking idiot if you carry on watching moving forward. But for those of you interested, fucking hell. Take a seat, grab some popcorn, because this is going to be creepy and fun in a very weird fucking way. Common sex for love is not for hate. Haters go fuck oneself. Tommy Lynn sells. I know nothing about this dude. Fuck, a psychopath speaks. Let's do this. That is never fun when it starts like that. A scale exists to measure evil acts. From impulse killings to serial murderers, it considers cruelty, torture, and brutality. Forensics now has a tool to measure who is most evil. There's a tool to measure how evil a person is? That fucker went up to 22! It's not even like a 1 to 10! They had to keep adding. Imagine they probably had like a one to five to start with. And then they kept adding to that shit. Holy fuck. And they went up to 22. Imagine what you've seen that you've had to add more to the scale to go up to 22. If that's even a thing. Fucking hell. <coughs> I've just met with the cross-country killer, Tommy Lynn Sells. A serial murderer okay, who killed creepy. as many as 70 victims as he traveled throughout the country. How Sells chose his victims was unique. What's distinctive about Tommy Lynn Sells, in contrast to quite a few of the other uh, serial killers, is that he killed seemingly indiscriminately men, women, and children, sometimes with a sexual angle, sometimes without, sometimes whole families sometimes a mother and child, and he did it with impunity, just like rolling off a log. So basically, he's fucked. So there's no fucking actual thing that he done. He was just attacking anybody at any time. Sometimes sexual, sometimes just a murder. Oh my God, this is going to send my fucking brain into a spiral. All bets are off when you're dealing with somebody like Sal. And he's smiling. Quite a few times, not all the times, but quite a few times, it was a mother and a kid. And I have an answer for that. Okay. And, and I thought hard about that because it's been like smacked up inside my head a time or two. Uh, I know what I went through as a child. The nightmares, the, the, the drama, the reality of, of who I was and, and what was done to me. I never wanted that to the, happen to another person. Tommy Lynn Sells argues that he killed children to put them out of their misery after killing their mothers. If 
I had something against that person. Uh huh. And 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 there was another person there that witnessed it. I didn't want them to uh, carry that on their shoulder the rest of their life. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah. You <laughs> Unfortunately, it fucking does. So what he's saying is, is that he's got to murder someone. If someone is present, seeing that happen in his eyes. He's doing the right thing by murdering them as well so that they don't have to live with that torment. How about, motherfucker, you just don't murder people to start with? That would be option number one. Fuck, you know, and the fact he's saying it in a way, this one is sadistic. He's saying it in a way like he's doing a favor because it's almost like I have to kill. So I have to kill them. So that's going to happen. But what I'm making sure that I do is that, that the person that's witnessing that, I kill them too because I don't want them to suffer in the future. It's almost like the killing over here, that has to happen. That, that's already been checked and banked. That, that's that got to happen. And the dude's creepy as fuck. That on their shoulder the rest of their life. Uh -huh. Does that make sense? Yeah, you're sure. putting out of the misery they would have had if they had to live through that all that. That's the best I can answer it. Uh -huh. If it was just a question of putting the other person, besides the one that you were targeting, uh, out of the misery of having to live life with missing mama or missing, you know, whoever, um, maybe you would have gone about it in a gentle way. Is there a gentle way? Yeah. Oh, How you know when they'd strap you to a gurney that, that everything inside of you just ain't burning up? Well... There's a difference. And, and, and they say that's humane? I asked him about the power he felt. No, 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 we ain't skipping on that one. So that dude was saying, basically, did you have to be so fucking horrific when you were murdering them? Did you have to be so horrific? And he's getting frustrated by that. Well, he's saying you could have done it in a different way. If you had to murder him, so clearly he's done something fucking brutal. thing inside of you just ain't burning up. Well, there's a difference. And, and, and they say that's humane? I asked him about the power he felt after killing his female victims. Mm. You mentioned about the rush. Yeah. And, and that makes a lot of sense. Uh -huh. But I can picture that one part of the rush could be and, and here's why I need to hear from you, the sense of power over other people. They say a woman being raped is all about power. True? Uh, sometimes, a lot of times. I think it's more about sex. I put Tommy Lynn Sells in the uttermost category 22 because of the torture to which he subjected some of the victims to uh, before he killed them. There's a terroristic element in cells as a crime, some of them, that is way beyond what you see in the crimes of a number of the other serial killers. I, I did it for the the, the, the rush. I, I, I didn't do it for, for the, the sex, I didn't do it for the power, I didn't do it for the motive. When Tommy Sells uh, speaks about a rush, he's talking about a feeling of exhilaration uh, high spiritedness, uh, enjoyment. Yeah, 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 we get that, mate. So, the bit that's creeping me out here is that the motive isn't sexual. The motive isn't anything that fits into one of these categories. The motive is because it fucking excites him. That's like uh, a weightlifter that's excited by adding an extra couple of kgs on and getting the endorphins from lifting it. That's what he's saying there. That this is giving him that rush. Holy fuck me shit. Of exhilaration, uh, high spiritedness, uh, enjoyment, uh, almost orgastic kind of enjoyment. And the problem with that, what that does, that will create a dynamic in your brain that feeds it. So your brain is fed on that. Okay, that's the reason why people then are motivated to keep weightlifting and adding more weights and getting better and getting stronger and that because it's creating the endorphins. His is created from the rush of killing people. And it'll get to that point where doing it one way is not going to get that, that excitement. It's about adding more weight to those kills. It's adding more excitement to build more endorphins, to build more of that rush. Holy fuck. Uh, why, why did I study people for a living? Someone explain to me why I picked fucking human beings for, for a living. I have no idea why. High spiritedness, uh, enjoyment, 
uh, almost orgastic kind of enjoyment. Mm. It's, it's a sensation. Tying that scarf around your neck and, and just watching your eyes, it, it just it's it, it's it's a sensation seeing seeing that skin pull apart. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 sensation sticking that knife in and and just pulling and, and knowing it's sharp enough just go all the way up. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's 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 not the person. It's about the sensation of of of, of what you're into. For him. The, the excitement in his body as he is explaining it. Zero remorse. Zero awareness about how bad that's coming across. You can see the excited agitation in his whole fucking being when he's explaining this. Enjoyment, uh, almost orgastic kind of enjoyment. It's, it's a sensation. Tying that scarf around your neck and, and just watching your eyes. It, it just it's, you're it, watching it's, your it's sensation, seeing seeing that skin pull apart. Yeah. It, it, it's 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 sensation, sticking that knife in and and just pulling and, and knowing it's sharp enough, just go all the way up. Yeah. Uh, uh, it, it's 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 not the person. It's about the sensation of of of, of what you're into. For him. The sight of the blood and the separation of the tissues after the cutting uh, gave him an, an intense feeling of uh, satisfaction and, and enjoyment. That was the rush that he spoke about. And like any, like heroin or cocaine, you need to have that every so often. Every so often. Yeah. Okay, uh, were you able to get as big a rush killing one of these nameless people as you could from getting It a, did not matter. Did blood not. is blood. Uh -huh. It didn't matter, man, woman, child. Yeah, no more thrill to kill the mayor of the town than the, the homeless guy on the street. No. If I could get George Bush to, to Tiny Tim, it wouldn't matter. Yeah. This fearless urge to kill without any empathy, without any compassion, makes Sells a true psychopath. Mm. Today, I might say, you know, Tommy, Dr. Stone, he's OK. And tomorrow I might wake up and say, you know that bastard, he, he, he tried to slide a slip one in on me. You understand? I do. That's why there's this glass. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Absolutely, I could be one of his victims if it weren't for that painted glass. Mm -hmm. I think Sells uh, fulfills the criteria for psychopathy to a very high degree, especially when you think about the important personality factors of psychopathy, which focus on callousness, absence of remorse, lack of compassion or empathy, and inability to take responsibility for his actions. So those are the key personality traits that we assign to this concept of psychopathy. Pretty simple. Okay, so that was creepy as shit. That was creepy as hell. Now, I need to know more about what the hell this dude done. I, I know nothing about this Tommy Lynn Sells. I know absolutely nothing. Um, I need some more videos on this individual because I don't have a fucking clue what he did. Um, and I know that sounds really weird for me. Excuse me, weird for me to say, but I want to know why this gentleman here automatically is throwing him on level 22. What makes Tommy Lynn Sells different to your Jeffrey Dahmers, your Ted Bundys of this world? What did he do that put him on that scale so quickly? I know he's saying that he's murdered women and children and men, but so many other psychopaths have done that. There's something fucked up about this individual, the fact that he gets so excited even talking about it, and the fact he's consciously aware of what he's saying as well, that almost that it's it's normal for him to be talking about. There's no remorse behind his eyes at all. But I need to know a bit more. If anyone's got videos on Tommy Lynn Sells or something that can just pull this story apart, I will be interested. But fuck, you know, that is some creepy shit.